PUC. Uh, Mr Entwistle, do you now accept, in the light of last night's panorama, that the decision to drop the Newsnight investigation was a catastrophic mistake? I, I, I came away from the panorama firmly of the view that that um, investigation, even if it, in the judgment of the editor it wasn't ready for transmission at the point he was looking at it, should have been allowed to continue. Under pressure from MPs at the Culture Select Committee, the BBC's Director General George Entwistle today admitted they got it wrong when they decided not to follow up on an investigation into one of its biggest celebrities. It's three weeks since claims of sexual abuse by former presenter Jimmy Savile were broadcast on ITV after Newsnight had dropped the story. But committee members today seemed astonished that since then, the man in charge of the BBC seemed to have done little research of his own. Have you asked if there are any current people employed by the BBC who have had complaints of sexual harassment made against them? I, I have... I have um, Information is being assembled on exactly that subject, so yes. But well, how long does it take to assemble that kind of information? I mean, we're, we're, we're looking at um, between five and ten uh, serious allegations relating to um, relating to uh, relating to activities, but over the over the whole period in over the whole period in question, the, the Savile period. And he said he hadn't interfered with the decision to drop the Newsnight report. I've been accused of. Uh, of intervening, of, 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 of getting the <clears throat> Newsnight investigation stopped out of a desire to protect the Jimmy Savile programmes, and I've been accused of not having shown enough interest in the Jimmy Savile programmes. I was trying to find the right place on that line, and, and the key thing I needed to know was, did they have something that they intended to proceed with, that they thought was good enough to proceed with? But yet he admitted he never even asked the BBC's head of news, Helen Bowden, what it was about. So, so you knew that she was telling you that it was sufficiently serious that you might have to think about changing the schedule, which is quite a significant thing to do, and you didn't even say to her, what's it about? Well, I, I, didn't, I have no recollection of asking her what it was about. I thought it was an extraordinary lack of curiosity, apart from nothing else. If MPs were looking for answers today, they certainly didn't find them. If the, if the tribute programmes went ahead, why did, the, why did the, the, the series that you were contemplating as an organisation not go ahead? I don't, I don't know the answer to that question. Have you not asked that question? No, I haven't asked that question. Are you going to ask that question? Yes, I will. Are there any other questions that you, should, <laughs> that you would like us to prompt you to ask that you hadn't thought about asking yourself? Just an awkward silence. Martha Fairley, ITV News.